NHL Schools and Foxes. This coming week, your project is all about other people. So the week we've just done, you've been learning all about yourself and sharing all the different things that you like doing. And then now I would like you to find out about people from another country or another culture. So first of all, I'd like you to do a poster like last week. Now please don't laugh at my drawing, I have done my best. So I chose to do Ghana because in the church I go to, there are quite a few people who come from Ghana, so I thought it might be nice to find out a little bit more about their country and their culture. So I've drawn a map of Ghana in the middle, and I've learned that they live in large family groups. I've drawn grandma and granddad and mum and dad and three children, one of whom's holding a baby, but there might be aunties and uncles there as well. They live in all sorts of types of houses, some that look like ours. So apparently they quite like bungalows, so one level living. But there are flats in the towns and sometimes in the villages they've got little mud huts made from mud, so it looks a bit more like this. They tend to eat soup or stew. I have actually tasted Ghanaian food when they brought some to church and it is delicious. Um, and they keep goats and chickens. Yes, this is a goat, honestly, and that is supposed to be a chicken. And I love Ghanaian clothing. The ladies come to church in amazing, beautifully coloured fabrics. This really doesn't do it justice, but this kind of pattern and vividness, which is amazing. Although they also wear clothes like we wear as well. Now, I looked for the next day, I want you to look at a celebration from the country you're looking at or the culture that you're looking at. And you could make a fact file like last week, but I actually found that in Ghana, although most people are Christian, so they sort of celebrate the same kinds of celebrations I celebrate, they have some traditional festivals, one of which was called the Odwira Festival, which is a kind of harvest festival. But it was really quite difficult to write a fact file on. So you might just want to maybe watch a video of things that go on at the festival or just read a little bit about what happens in the festival rather than trying to write a fact file on it. Um, and compare it with the one you did last week at the festival of your own that you celebrate see what the differences are. Then I'd like you to look at the kinds of food they eat and maybe try and find a recipe, perhaps have a go at one of the um, kinds of food that you eat if you like it. If you're doing Ghana, you're bound to like it because they're delicious, their food. Um, and then have a look at their language. See if you can learn how they say hello maybe how they count to 10, what kinds of names they have, are they different from the kinds of names that you're used to? I know in Ghana they say, I think, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but chale for hello, which I think is quite nice, though actually they speak a lot of English too. Um, and then for the last day, I want you to think about how people are treated around the world. There's been a lot in the news recently about how groups of people feel that they're being very unfairly treated, not just in other countries, but in this country too. So I want you to have a little think about maybe how we could make this world a fairer place to live in. There was a man called Martin Luther King in, who lived in America and he made a very famous speech in which he said he had a dream of how the world could be. And I'd like you to have a little think about what maybe what changes we could make to make this world a fairer place for everybody to live in. I hope you enjoyed doing the project this week and I hope you learned something new and I look forward to seeing what you've been doing on Seesaw. Bye.